Hey guys, and welcome back to today's episode of Mint's Raft. Today, if you haven't already guessed by the thumbnail, we are going to be going into the Nether and either finding a Bastion Remnants or a Nether Fortress. Spoilers, we do find both. But I'm just going to keep this here for now because we are going to definitely be needing that. I died quite a few times in this. But anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get on with today's episode. So, first of all, you guys know if you've watched my previous episodes that when I spawned into the nether I spawned in a basalt delta which kind of sucked like really bad uh, you can see I've tried to start leveling it off a little bit around here I wasn't really sure which direction to go in um, I've had a little look sort of like in a few directions uh, but today we're going to truck on and we're going to get through um, and find that nether fortress or bastion remnants uh, well both so I started off by sort of like trying to flatten off the area again and then got scared because a load of lava came towards me. So I decided to bring some squishy magma cubes home for some pets. They look pretty cool. Maybe I can sort of like keep them around and their mum won't mind. Um, but they started to get a little bit aggressive, you know, as they do. So I just had to like murder them all. <laughs> oh God, look, look at the thing of the children. So yeah, after that, I got a little bit scared. Um, I made some TNT so I would feel like a god. And then I got scared about that because I shouldn't be trusted with TNT. Can't even hold a sword properly. So I went back to the Never, and unfortunately, the Squishy's mummy was, was waiting for me, and she wasn't happy at all. So, yeah. Yeah, I died. There we go. There's death count number one. Luckily, most of my stuff just flew straight back through the portal. Oh, there we go. Death number two. So I went back into the Never and just walked straight into lava uh, in that bit. Um, and, yeah, back again and trying to kill... Uh, two squishies now, death number three. Unfortunately, I haven't got any armor on me at this point, so I'm just trying to, like, collect my stuff. Um, I lost most of it here. I mean, I've got some I've got some cobblestone back. I suppose that's pretty cool. I'm just, just going to beat these magma cubes to death with cobblestone. Um, okay, we're doing this. One heart, look at that, building a bridge through the never across lava. I'm probably going to die again, but oh well. But hey, look, we built a bridge, and then I got killed by a gas. Nice one. Death count number four, we're doing well. But then, finally, I'm pretty sure that that is part of the Bastion Remnant. So I decided to dig up and obviously died because there was lava. I went back home, like obviously I respawned, and there was pillagers stuck in my wood farm, which was just hilarious. So I just sat there like sniping them off. Uh, for a minute or two, that sort of made my day, and then I went back to the Never. Um, so my bridge finally led to this Bastion Remnants, and I thought I'd Jesus, I thought I'd help this guy out by placing a block, and I get like an arrow shot at me by like someone down there. I'm totally stealing these lanterns. I can't be bothered to make my own. I steal so many lanterns from this place. Then I walked into lava as I do, but I didn't die. And then I saw a load of pigs or something with like gold helmets on. That was like proper weird. Um, but we found gold. Uh, the one thing I know about Bastion Remnants is there is always gold. Excuse me if you can hear my cat meowing in the background there. <laughs> um, you know, I had to kill the skeleton, obviously, he was trying to snipe me off, and this piglin was just encouraging me, so that was all good. Hoglin? Piglin? Hoglin? I, I don't know what, what they're called. Sniped, gassed, good shot. So, um, yeah, I made a little box around myself. Oh my god. The, yeah, the ghast, his mate came back. So we're going to have to, uh, we, we have to snipe him off as well. It's got to get a clear shot. Go on, take it, take it. The suspense is killing me. Nah, okay, we'll go get the gold. All right, so I built a little box around myself because I know that these like little piggy dudes, they get a little bit annoyed when you try and steal all their goodies. So I built a little safety box around myself. <laughs> Brilliant. Just to take the gold and then plop back down and we'll have a little look around this Never Fortress. So I decided to, uh, I went from like one end to the other and found nothing. So I decided to sort of like mine through it. And then I figured out that these aren't pigs with helmets. They are not. They, 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 were, they were piglins <laughs> with, with helmets. Piglin, is that right? I don't know what they are. Um, li li tell me what they are in the comment. I get mixed up with them all. Piglins, piglin brutes, uh, those little warthog things. I, I, don't, I don't know what they are either. But... I thought I'd light up this uh, this place so I could see a little bit better. Got the gold, so now we're just going to explore uh, the Bastion Remnants. Killed this, uh, oh, that's a hoglin, I know that much. It says piglin brute. Is it piglin brute? I thought that was a hoglin. Oh, gosh. Now my cats are fighting. Stop. Uh, Gilded Blackstone, the, the, the best um, block in the game, definitely. And then I get sideswiped 
by this guy. Oh yes, yeah, so this is a piglin brew. Oh, that must have been his pet or something. Uh, here we go. Have some fire aspect on you, bro. That's that's absolutely fine. We'll we'll, we'll just uh, have a little party. There we go. You're all done. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a little look around here. It seems pretty sparse. I've been from one end to the other and haven't really found much. I'm going to go up and down now. Um, I've heard that they have like uh, a lot of loot chests and things like that in these Bastion Remnants. So I'm just going to snipe off these guys. <laughs> See? I told you, I'm, I'm getting really good at shooting. Um, <laughs> I'm going to um, try and find like a, a loot room now. Um, yeah, my sniping's definitely getting better. I only missed that first one. That's pretty good. There we go. Done. So if we go over to here, oh, more gilded blackstone, you can't argue, holy moly, don't, no, no, we're not going to get that one then. And hey, I found a loot chest, look at that. So uh, yeah, in Bastion Remnants you do find uh, loot rooms where you get loot chests and stuff like that. Um, they're normally in a, it's sort of like a staircase that goes down and there's normally chests sort of like around that area. Uh, I didn't really find a huge amount of stuff, to be honest with you, that I was actually impressed with. Um, <laughs> Get rid of the smooth quartz and bones. Get rid of that. I suppose I could just take... What? what? I'm j ah, oh, the gilded blackstone. That's what I'm after. Oh, sorry, I was trying to figure out what I was actually uh, trying to achieve by doing that, but I was after the gilded blackstone. That's fair enough. Um, so then I went up a little bit. Uh, got sideswiped again by another piglin brute, I'm guessing, by the subtitles on the bottom right there. Um, yeah, so he got stuck in a hole, <laughs> gutted. Uh, I walked past, like, I don't know if you noticed a couple of seconds ago, this gold block, it'll be on my right now. Uh, there it is. Uh, I walked past that like five times, and I was literally editing this, screaming at myself to, to get the gold block, even though I hate gold blocks, but I'm going to, like, pimp out my nether portal with gold blocks. So all the gold that I find in the nether is going to be going round my nether portal. Why? I don't know. Don't ask stupid questions. It's fine. Um, so anyway, let's crack on and explore this bad boy. So if we go up again, see there's another gold block. That, uh, all right, okay, I spotted that one. That was good. That was good. I don't think I go back to go, the, go get the other one, though. I should pop back to the Never at some point and get that one. Uh, so, yeah, so we've lit this place up, and we've had a pretty good look around it, to be honest with you. Um, I decided to try and empty my inventory a bit and be smart by making my gold ingots into gold bars. All right, and there we go. Like I've freed up a few spots. Have I? No, no, I haven't. Uh, so I decided to call these piglin brutes. Uh, I Donald Trumped it again. I built a little wall because uh, I was scared, and then I decided to just pop some arrows in their heads. I love the first one was just one shot, and then that guy takes like two hits. And that's fine. I'll grab that yummy, yummy experience. So this is the tunnel that uh, I dug. Dug? No, I didn't dig it. I, I created it. I built it. This is literally from, from my own blocks. Uh, so this is from the Never Portal all the way to the Bastion Remnants there. I'll just knock some windows through um, just so we've you know, got something to look at on the way through this dingy little tunnel. Oh, here's my little copper corner, I call it. Uh, hopefully that will all turn blue soon. That'll look pretty cool. Or green. I, I don't know. Turquoise. People think different colours look like different colours, so that's cool. Greens are blues, blues are greens. So this is the entrance to my nether portal now that I've just come to. I've got some chests here, furnaces, uh, with all the essentials in case I die again, because obviously we're on death count five. Don't want that going up anymore. I've got some spare armour in there, um, and I totally boxed in my nether portal. Uh, so we're just going to go back, uh, drop off all my stuff, because obviously my inventory is absolutely rammed at the moment got a little chest uh, just by my never portal in the overworld um and that's where i'm gonna store all my stuff and i'm gonna start putting down my gold blocks and pimp out my never fortress never fortress never portal that's the one i wish that i had a never fortress here that'd be that'd be pretty pretty insane but yeah I've pimped out the the never portal it looks terrible i know don't don't judge me don't judge me i just want to flex with all the gold look at all that gold look at all those diamonds oh yeah i totally forgot to update you as well so we have had a bit of an update since the last game um we now have uh chickens there we go uh and we have peas so we are building in the next episode um a massive chicken farm um and an ox axolotl in oxalotl axolotl enclosure um so watch out for that video it'll be dropping pretty soon as well i went and enchanted some stuff um because as you can tell by the death count i've lost 
a lot of uh, my diamond gear. So I decided to remove the anvil from my house, put it up on the hill with my enchanting table and enchant some uh, some more weapons and things like that. And then go back to the nether and start sniping off some little squishies. Um, geez, I got stuck in a corner, but that was all good because then, you know, I just killed them. So it wasn't too bad. Um, right, so I decided to go a different direction. We found the Bastion Remnants in that direction, and I did a quick Google search. Is that a Nether Fortress over there? Was that a Nether Fortress? I did a quick Google search, and basically, if you find a Bastion Remnants on... No, but that is a Nether Fortress. I'm pretty sure that's a Nether Fortress. Yep. Get my trusty spyglass out. You'll figure out how I did that in the next episode, because unfortunately with my editing, it's a bit all over the place. I get bored of things, so I have to come back, edit different videos, and then uh, I obviously just mine straight up into lava, like I always do. Uh, and then I ran away, because I don't want that death count to get to six. So I tried to mine in a different place. And there's the lava again. Run! Oh my god. Right, okay. There we go. That that will do it. I, I refuse to let that death count get to six by the end of this video. It's just not happening. All right, so we have sorted out the lava issue. That's absolutely wonderful. So now we can carry on building our bridge all the way over to the Never Fortress. I hope that's the Never Fortress. I'm going to be really annoyed if it's not. I'm going to be totally honest with you. And this is just making me totally nervous. I mean, my anxiety levels are through the roof at the moment. I mean, not only are you... Oh, geez, just look at that. This isn't fun. This isn't fun at all. The amount of time I've been knocked off of here by gas is just... <laughs> well, once, actually. But, um, here we go. I finally made it. I finally made it to the wall of what I think I'm pretty sure is the Never Fortress. Um, oh, new recipes. Excellent. Yes, we have Never Bricks, I'm guessing. Whoa. Okay. Don't don't keep going that way. Ah, Blaze Spawners. There are Blaze Spawners over there. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. So there's a Blaze Spawner up. Jesus. All right. Okay, so we'll go back down here. We'll find another way up. That's fine. Let's try and have a little look up this way. What's up here? There's something I hear. Br oh, right, okay. So I think I've dug up. So if that blaze spawner was opposite me, then that means I think that I've dug up uh, onto the blaze spawner that's opposite that. Because I think the Never Fortresses have a couple of blaze spawners, I think. I, I, I don't know. But I finally got the bottle to actually... Uh, sort of do something. I, I was standing here for quite a while just uh, picking off blazes, to be honest with you, because, like, I need... Well, I don't know if I... I don't need blaze rods for anything at the moment, but I've heard that they come in handy for things, so I'm guessing that it would be wise to, you know, collect a few resources at this point while I'm just sort of sitting here. Um, but I was kind of stuck here, and I needed to get past this point. Um, the blazes were sort of keeping me hostage in Jesus in in this side of the Never Fortress and I didn't want to build any more bridges I was pretty sick of building bridges ignore me as well putting blocks on fire I know you can put them out with with, with your hands but that's that's fine and uh so we're gonna have to find a way through this I'm just gonna have to tunnel through hang on is this the main all oh, right okay so I think this is is this the main corridor I think this is Advances into fire. Yeah, is is that... Does that mean I've got into the... Never... Uh, this looks like a... From what I've Googled, this looks like a Never Fortress. That's pretty cool. Um, so we just got to take care of these blazes because they're going to be a bit of an issue, I think. Um, but obviously there is a... The blaze spawners, they're going to keep coming back. Ah, oh, I could totally... Okay, watch out for future video, guys, because I'm totally turning that into a Blaze XP farm. I'm going to have a look on YouTube for some videos, and we will be making a Blaze XP farm at some point. Uh, I always get lost in the Never, so I thought, and I've got like a few tunnels now, so I thought I would decorate my Never tunnel with Never Brick, or Never ra never Bricks, Never Rat, I don't know. And then we will find out. Um, we're, we're, then I'll know where I'm going. Uh, then I decided to go kill an absolute ton of cows, and the chickens look like they're getting a bit heavy as well. So we'll just like we'll just kill a few of those as well. That's absolutely fine. The pigs, well, we're gonna feed them. I think like five, so that's fine. Um, look, we're not here to do farming today, Minstraft. All right. Look, I know you're not happy about going back into the Never, but you're all kitted out. You're doing fine. Get back in there. Right. So. 
this is the journey I have to take to the Never Fortress. It's pretty long, but hey, it's uh, it's a tunnel. It takes me there, and I also get a chance to snipe some squishies off the side of the bridge I made. So that's pretty cool. And the view is awesome, <laughs> terrifying, but awesome. So once I got back up there, to be honest with you, I just sort of like camped out for a while, killing some more blazes, sniped off some ghasts, um, and then I had a little look around. So this place was ginormous. I mean, the amount of times I got lost in here was absolutely crazy. Um, and the reason I have come here is because Endergo 1158 has given me a challenge of defeating the Wither. <laughs> I know. I know, right? I mean, I haven't even gone to the end yet. I don't even know where, like, um, what they're called, end fortresses? Is that it? I think that's what they're called. I don't even know where one of those is at the moment. You know, I haven't even got enough ender eyes to figure out where one of those is. So my daughter has given me a challenge. Now I've found a nether fortress to kill a ton of withers, wither skeletons, and um, defeat the wither. So that should be fun. Uh, and then I, w I stumbled across a crimson forest, I think this is. I think this is a crimson forest. Um, and this is just nuts. It's like, it's, it's growing like halfway through a ceiling. Um, it's just crazy. We'll check that out in a minute. Um, found a load of more loot chests, which was pretty cool. Got some uh, golden armor for my horse, although he doesn't need it. He's like pimped out in diamond armor at the moment, so that's all good. Um, Hey, you got some diamonds as well. It's not too bad. I suppose the, the loot here is much better than it was at the Bastion Remnants. Hang on, what is that there? Is that a... Is that a wither? Is that what... Oh my god! My first wither! So I have come across my first wither, and I hear the way to do this is if you build a... Boop, boop, to block high thing like that, they can't get through. Oh my god, this is, it works. That's superb. And then you can just stand there and just kill them. Although I didn't realise at this point as well that you need, like, loot in free or something, like on a sword or... I don't know if you can put loot in free on a bow. Uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll, I'll give that a bash. I prefer to use a bow at the moment, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm loving, loving the long-distance shots. Um, but, yeah, I didn't have any loot in on any of my items. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't do too well with getting the, the, the wither skulls. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Um, to to answer a question, you see me wandering around quite aimlessly for a lot of this video. Uh, did I get lost? Yes, a million percent. A hundred times I got lost. Hours I was lost for. I kept going around in circles. Uh, but I found the base of the Crimson Forest, sort of here. So I thought I'd uh, go have a little look see at that and check that out. Um, I mean, pretty much everything I got here was like a, a new recipe. I don't know what I'm going to do with this red stuff at the moment. I'll try and figure it out. Um, guys, this looks so cool. This doesn't look like the normal Crimson Forest, though, that I've seen on uh, YouTube and that. I mean, this one's, like, inside. It's it's really weird. It's got, like, a roof and everything. Uh, we're just going to have a quick look around here and see what it's all about. Light up the area. Wow. This is pretty awesome. Although, I wonder if I can... What are they? Well, are they all right, so that's just normal wood. Uh -huh, okay, so it's got to be... So these are actually trees then, this isn't like some weird sort of fungus thing growing out of the ground. You never know with the never, there's some weird stuff in here man. So I'm just going to like totally rob this <laughs> crimson forest. As I say, I don't know what I'm going to do with this wood, but I'm sure it will come in handy for something. We've got, what's this? Don't even know what that is. Oh, it's some, some dodgy mushrooms. A wise person once said to me, all mushrooms are edible, but some of them only once. <laughs> That's, that's pretty good logic, I think. I'm just going to light this place up. Oh, it gets uh, pretty tight round here, doesn't it? I wonder where those uh, tree stumps go. I wonder if they actually grow up through the uh, through the roof there. That'd be pretty cool. Totally taking this uh, glowstone as well. I absolutely love this stuff. This and gilded blackstone are definitely my two favourite blocks. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we, so we're back to, um, back to fighting the wither skeletons. Uh, I'm pretty good at sniping them off to be honest with you just popping them off left right and center um but just no no wither skulls no wither skulls at all it was an absolute nightmare the whole point of this journey was to get wither skulls and i got zero zero 
wither skulls I got. Oh my god, that glowstone looks like a little doggy. That's hilarious. Um, I killed like tons of wither skeletons as well, like uh, absolutely loads of them. But yeah, no, no, no wither, no wither skulls. So uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to kill the wither. I just want to say that now, so you don't get disappointed at the end if you think I actually managed to get to the point of creating a wither. It just didn't happen. Um, but yeah, I also found out as well, this nether fortress is connected to another nether fortress. If you go over here, there's like another tunnel that leads all the way over, if you see that in the distance. That's a, a second, I presume it's a second nether fortress, because they're not directly connected by any tunnels. I mean, let me know down in the comments, but they're separated um, by quite, I'd say probably by about 100 blocks maybe, 80 to 100 blocks. Um, you cannot get from one to the other unless you go over... Um, just some normal, I don't know, ground soil, whatever you want to call it, Neverack, I suppose, in the Never, it's not soil, is it? Uh, then I decided to pick a fight with a ton of blazes, uh, just because I was, I, I got bored, I got lost, I got bored, um, you, you know, I mean, what else, what else can you do in this situation? Stand by a blaze spawner and get a hell load of XP, why not? Uh, so I'm going to go back to the original Never Fortress now, I just pop up there. And then see, there's wither skeletons everywhere, man. And I decided to take on, take on three of them. Uh, this was a bad idea. I mean, this nearly got me killed. It was, it was just crazy right now. Um, but I managed to, <laughs> managed to do it just about. Thank God I'm on easy at the moment. I still haven't changed it to normal at this point. Um, but thank God I was on easy. So. That, that was it. I went to the Nether Fortress. I found the Nether Fortress. I killed a load of wither skeletons, and I had a really good look around for like four or five hours I was in there. It was pretty intense. Um, but look, that death count stayed at five. So do you know what I did? I went home, and I did some mining, and I got some diamonds, because getting diamonds relaxes me. Let's see how many we got. Oh no, oh, I've already, oh, I've got them in my offhand. How many have we got? 60. See, I'm going to walk around flexing with my 60 diamonds that I've just got, you know, FYI. Uh, so, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it for today's video, guys, to be honest with you. We, we've done what we, it said on the tin. We, we've got the Never Fortress. We found the Bastion Remnants. Uh, did some mining. Got a load of diamonds. I was pretty happy about that. Death count stayed at five. And, uh, yeah, so... Oh my god, right, this is the most painful thing. I totally forgot about this until I've started doing the script for it. This, is, this was awful. I, I was mining for diamonds, as you know. I had an absolute ton of them on me as well. I had 60 on me. Um, and I was just trying to get out of there. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. It, it went to six. The death count went to six. It went to six. Um, I don't like that. I was hoping that we'd end this video on five, but hey, if you did enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment, share, all that other jazz, and I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. <laughs>